fucking love tortoises. All right, I, I told you guys this story um, several times, but I'll tell you it again. Um, at, at my school, we had a tortoise and a snake and an iguana and a bunch of mice and shit. And I used to go to, the, like, uh, basically the zoo classroom. And I used to feed the tortoise the lettuce off my burger every day. I stole a bunch of gerbils from my school and somehow did not get in trouble. That was a jumping story. If you actually want to hear the story, I'll, I'll tell you. But yeah, I, I fed, I fed uh, the tortoise every single day and stole a bunch of gerbils. They, they were planning to feed them to the snake. So I had... Uh, so what? What's that? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> The class was cruel, and I'm surprised how this class was legal, but essentially what this teacher would do is he would have his class raise the gerbils, and then he would make them feed them to the snake to teach them, like, loss and the circle of life. It was very fucked up. I'm surprised that that class is still allowed. I think maybe he let some of them take them home. I'm hoping, because when I, I, I said, I'm like, hey, um, would I be able to, like, take half of those gerbils off your hands? And he was like, yeah, uh, you can have half of them or like 12 of them, but after they grow fur. And I said, okay, one day I went into the classroom and the gerbils got fur and there was an albino one. And the albino one was the attention of all the class because everyone likes the albino one. It's, it's white and has red eyes and it's awesome looking. So essentially what I did was I walked in and I saw one of the kids putting the albino gerbil inside of the snake's tank. And they're like, uh uh, we're not gonna feed you to him yet, but we're gonna feed him to you like in a few months. And I just saw that and just kind of went into action mode and I lied. It, it was half a lie, it was a half truth. I went up to the teacher's wife who worked there. Hey, he said that after the mice grow fur, I could take them. And she's like, oh, okay. And she let me. There was a girl and she loved her gerbil and she was so sad. And she knew that he would be fed to the snake. And I'm like, listen, I could save him. You need to put him in the box if you want him to live because he will be fed to the snake and she's like i know i know can i just say goodbye that broke my heart because i don't think her parents let her take like the gerbil home i went there and i collected the albino one and i saved hers as well and i threw them in the box and i gave them to my friend whose family was struggling because they weren't exactly citizens so it all made good stuff in the end i gave it to that friend that friend actually made a little gerbil business out of it so he was able to like breed them and like and like sell them for people who wanted gerbils he took very good care of them like we introduced them to a girl and they like played on the wheel and they lived happily ever after and they also like had a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of babies like a fuck ton of babies like they had so many babies and as for me i went into school the next day and i was like hey um i i knew what was coming and i just kind of like sucked it up and i went into the classroom to give the tortoise my yeah, burger no, lettuce yeah. in front of the class the teacher goes chumba yes did you seal the gerbils yes you said that I can have the- I don't want to hear it. You lied to my wife. I know. <laughs> and he's like, are they happy? I was like, what? He's like, are, are the gerbils happy? And I was like, yeah, they they have like a wheel and like a huge cage and shit. They're, they're doing great. He's like, okay, go back to lunch. And I was like, what? I didn't get detention for that? Well, why did I not get detention for that? I was so confused. I, I didn't question it though. I was like, okay, thanks. And I left. <laughs> I was so surprised.